Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but my friends know me as the president of Chickenlandia. Today I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do if your chicken is sneezing. <laughs> common scenario is somebody comes out to their chicken yard, you know, tending to their chickens, maybe cleaning the chicken coop, whatever, and all of a sudden a chicken is sneezing. <laughs> I really feel like the number one thing that you should do when you notice that you have one, two, or more chickens sneezing is to not panic. That is easier said than done because if you go online and you say, my chicken is sneezing, let's say you go into a Facebook group and you're like, hey, my chickens are sneezing, what do I do? A lot of the feedback that you will get back is pretty intense. I am definitely not saying that there aren't very serious respiratory illnesses out there. And in fact, right now, there are some pretty valid concerns that are going on in certain parts of the country with a certain chicken disease. And if your flock is hit by this disease, then unfortunately, the consequences are pretty drastic. But I just don't want you to go to that place in your mind first. There is a great chance that your chickens are gonna be just fine. We're just gonna go through a few things that you can do that will help them to get through it. What I say is not meant to replace proper diagnosis or advice from a licensed veterinarian. I'm just gonna share with you what I do and I encourage you to do your own research so you can make choices that you feel 100% comfortable with. So just looking around my coop today, there is no denying it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> and that is the first thing that I want you to look at if you find that your chickens are sneezing, that they're displaying any kind of respiratory issues. If you can smell ammonia in your coop, you really need to get on top of that because that can cause respiratory problems in your flock. You might remember a video that I released recently called Sick Chicken Action Plan. And what it is, is basically a very simple protocol that you could follow. I use an acronym. It is REST, R-E-S-T. The R stands for remove from flock. So first, you're gonna remove your chicken from the flock. The E stands for electrolytes, vitamins, and probiotics. You can usually find a product at your local farm store that has all three of those in it and you can put it in your chicken's water. The S stands for scrambled egg, which is a really just comforting food that is very tempting to a sick chicken and it will help them to regain some strength, get some good protein into their body and just help them with their healing. The last letter is T, which stands for temperature control. You don't want them to have to be trying to stay warm or trying to stay cool if it's really hot outside. So that's the first thing that I do when I see a chicken is having a bit of a respiratory issue. I will bring them inside and follow my sick chicken action plan, rest. I'm gonna talk a little bit about essential oils. I know that they're controversial. I agree that they really should be used with just some awareness that you need to be safe with them. I don't put essential oils on my chickens. I do not use essential oils internally. If I have a chicken that is displaying symptoms and they're inside, I will go outside to the coop and at night, I will put a few drops of some very gentle essential oils on a paper towel and hang it up in the coop. An example of what I might use is eucalyptus. I will use lavender. I will use peppermint, tea tree, and lemon. And I'll do the same thing for the chicken inside. I will put a few drops on a paper towel and put it near the chicken, but I won't put it on them. 
Um, there is an herbal product that I like to use whenever my chickens need an immune booster. It is called Cluckin' Good Herbs and it is from a company called Scratch and Peck Feeds. Full disclosure, I am an ambassador for Scratch and Peck Feeds. I became one after using their products for a long time and I just really believe in their products. This is so good because it has immune boosting herbs and you can take it and mix it into their feed and give it to them that way or you can actually make a tea out of it. I will make a couple of cups of tea from this and then I will add that to their water. It has garlic, ginger, thyme, oregano, nettles. I mean, those are all great, and it's just pre-packaged for me. If you grow these herbs and you dry them yourself, you can totally make a, an immune-boosting tea out of your own herbs and add those to your chicken's diet. Some folks like to cut up raw garlic and put it in their water. I actually usually chop it up and I'll put it in some scrambled egg for them, and that way I just know that they are actually gobbling it up and it's getting into their bodies. I know that some folks like to use garlic powder in their food. I just think that fresh garlic is gonna be more effective for what you're trying to achieve. So I will always recommend using fresh garlic, but you know, it's whatever you feel comfortable using and whatever you have available. Achoo! Those of you that have been following me for a while know that I'm a big fan of using homeopathics on my chickens, on my dogs, and on my family and myself. <laughs> if I have respiratory illness in my flock, I will definitely be bringing out the homeopathic remedies. It's a little more complicated than I wanna get into in this video. I did make a video last year when my chickens Philippe and Little Stinker and Pikachu came down with a respiratory thing. I successfully treated them with homeopathy and I talk about that in a video that I'm going to post in the description. <laughs> So you've brought your chickens in, you've given them supportive care for a few days, and it might take a little while to get them through it. But hopefully you can get them through it and they will be ready to come back outside and join their flock. If you wanna learn more about how you can keep your chickens happy and healthy naturally, then check out this playlist. I'm gonna put it right here. You're gonna love it and you're gonna learn all the things. <laughs>